Welcome back. We are here on Eater looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for 40th of September 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, which we now are doing on a daily basis. And we'll start off by looking at uh, the commodities and we'll look at uh, at uh, gold. <laughs> Sorry, gold, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean oil. And as you can see, oil has dropped quite significantly today. We're down more than 3%. And there's the reason why it is that we basically ran into resistant, major resistant at the 50 moving average. We have broken through the 200 moving average. And at this point, we are just, just above or just under uh, $39. Um, at this point, I do believe that we are going to test in these lows of, uh, we can look at this number here, that is around $36.49. Uh, and, and, um, and if we break through this level, we'll go all the way down to $35. Uh, the world economy is just really bad at the moment. The same goes for the United States economy, the European economy, also Asia, which is... Uh, uh, manufacturing powerhouse and um, is basically slowing down and therefore demand for oil is also slowing down even though uh, the dollar is depreciating today and not um, appreciating the oil is still falling so this is not a very good sign and we did get a taste of this only a few weeks ago when we had this massive drop in the price of oil um, and this is basically the uh, most significant drop in the price of oil since all the way back in, in April, uh, March. Um, so at this point, um, I do believe this target will, uh, this level, uh, price level will be targeted. Uh, if this breaks, then we'll go down to $35. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, they'll give uh, quite a good indication where we basically are going at this point. The first uh, Fibonacci retracement is at 38.2 level and that is at the 30 level. So in a, in a few weeks time, I don't expect this to drop all of a sudden, but I do believe that we are going down to these levels. We'll probably see quite a lot of choppiness because uh, we'll have different kinds of news uh, in, the uh, in the presidential election that probably will have some minor um, effect on on this market because it will basically affect the market as a whole. But at this point, uh, 36th level is most likely going to be the target that we're, uh, it's going to be our first target. If we were to uh, break through the 50 moving average, I need to get the 200 moving average back. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, we will go to 32 and then all the way up to 33. I don't see a scenario where there's, that is going to happen. We have to have some major event um, in the world that will disrupt uh, the supply of oil or something like that. Uh, at this point, we're most likely just going to go down. If you look at the technical indicators, the stochastic has crossed the signal line and is pointed downwards pressure. The, the RSI is really negative and the MACD is about to cross the signal line, indicating a bearish momentum. So we look at natural gas. Natural gas has been absolutely hammered. And as I said yesterday, this was absolutely not a place in to buy natural gas, and and uh, hopefully somebody took that advice and did not buy here because look what basically happened today. We're down around five percent, and it is still falling. At this point, I do believe we're going to um, get quite close to the fifty moving average before we um, before we bounce. We have another. There has been a trend line in the makings here uh, which acts this trend will uh, act like a support line and this will most likely be our first uh, support uh, at around 
Um, underneath this, we have the 50 moving average. And if these two break, we'll have the 200 moving average all the way down here. I don't expect this to go through the 50 moving average. Um, we got way overstretched. It is um, quite normal when you have such an explosion to the upside that you basically drop at least to the half and sometimes to more than half of this uh, increase in price. So at this point, just see basically how low we basically get because um, this market will mostly go higher as long as weather conditions are the same in the United States. So we look at copper. So copper has still trade, has been trading above the 50 moving average. It looks like that is going to hold. We basically broke through the 50 moving average and then bounced. So at this point, we are just uh, buying time in order to basically take up to the upside. It doesn't seem like the 50 moving average is going to break. If that were the case, we have tried it several times and we can go, uh, and usually when you have these many tests of um, 50 moving average, it doesn't break, it goes basically to the upside. So this, we basically have tested it five times. Um, we are still quite far away from the MACD uh, from basically indicating bullish momentum. And the stochastic has crossed the signal line, but is technically flat at this moment, and the RSI is technically also flat. So uh, some kind of good news will most likely get this market to to explode to the upside and the first target will in uh, a target is uh, one three point one one and and uh, and then after that yeah we'll go to um to around three point three point seventy if we were to break through the 50 moving average then we have the 200 moving average all the way down here um but at this point just keep an eye on the 50 moving average. We basically need a red candlestick uh, or a body underneath the 50 moving average, uh, which basically will indicate that we will go lower. At this point, the 50 moving average is holding. So we look at gold. So gold has rallied both yesterday and today. Um, and this probably mainly to the fact that the US dollar index it has been uh, depreciating uh, both yesterday and uh, today. So that uh, gets this market up. We're still trading underneath the 50 moving average. So yeah, if the US dollar starts appreciating again, we may see a further drop in the price of gold. Uh, if it continues to depreciate, then we'll mostly go higher. I do expect us to run into resistance when we get close to the 50 moving average. If we break down from here, we have the 200 moving average underneath. Um, however, the technical indicators are quite positive for gold at this point, at least on the daily chart. We have the stochastic uh, basically going through the signal line and indicating bullish momentum. RSI is also looking quite bullish and the MACD is about to turn around and probably tomorrow session or the, on 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 the, on Thursday's session will most likely go through the signal line indicating bullish momentum. But if we do break down from here, 200 moving average or at least the 800 uh, level, there is a lot of resist, uh, support here uh, and the 200 moving average will act as support. Uh, we do have, um, uh, still have this supportive um, trend line here that we have not broken through. Uh, I do expect us to run into this uh, res uh, resistance first and then the 50 moving average. So if that is the case, then we will go much higher, probably the 2000 or 2100, which is expected in the long run. Uh, Yes. So look at silver. Silver is the same thing. We uh, bottom at uh, 21.9 uh, 
3064. Uh, uh, and at the moment, we are most likely going to the 50 moving average, which will be resistant. Uh, the technical indicators are fairly positive for this or bullish for this. Um, for this uh, for silver, if you look at the RSI, it's basically upwards momentum, and the stochastic also uh, bullish momentum. The MACD is quite far away from the signal line, so it will probably take another you know, two training days before getting through the signal line. Uh, we will have resistance at the 50 moving average, and we'll have support at the 200 moving average, and we also have the Fibonacci retracements. You can look at them here. Uh, we tested the 38.2, and underneath that we have the 50 at $20. Um, we also, similar to gold, have this um, resistant trend line here, which also we also have to break through. We tried to test, we tested that several times, and then it broke down. Um, and we both the 50 moving average and this. Uh, trend line here will be major resistant. If we manage to break through that, then we'll go much higher, probably to $30. So if you look at uh, Cocoa, so Cocoa is still, uh, it broke down uh, in the beginning of the trading session down to uh, 2.538. We haven't tested the 50 moving average yet. I do believe we'll do that before we go higher. At the moment, we are just um, um, just trading sideways. Um, and well, yes, technically just waiting for this moving average to get up this way and then we'll probably bounce from there. It looks very similar to what happened uh, a few weeks ago where we created this uh, bullish flag and then we basically uh, exploded to the upside. Uh, the technical indicators are not very bullish. The stochastic is pointing downwards momentum. The RSI is technically flat and the MACD is quite a long way from the signal line. However, probably maybe on Friday or Monday, Tuesday next week, I do believe we'll still run into this 50 moving average. If we break through that, then we have the 200 moving average underneath. And if we go to the upside, then we'll go and test this level at the 2.702. So look at uh, platinum. Platinum is still Bullish, we are uh, going most likely to, to test this uh, 50 moving average, which will be resistant. Um, if we break down from here, then we are basically trading above the 200 moving average, will uh, we'll act as support. If you go further than that, then this entire area here is basically massive uh, support. So I do expect in the long run we will go and all the way to these highs of 1,000. It will probably take a few weeks. Um, I'm not a seller in this market, mainly due to the fact that there's just so massive support, uh, all the, basically in this entire area here. So my bet is to the upside um, uh, in the long run. We'll probably trade, it'll be a really choppy trading in, uh, in this area for some time, but in the long run, this will go much higher. And technical indicators, stochastic is uh, pointing to the upside and the uh, RSI is secondly flat and the MACD is uh, is about to cross this again, probably tomorrow or on, uh, on uh, Thursday, Friday's session. So we look at sugar. So sugar has been really bullish today. We uh, have given some of the uh, gains back, but this is a really good sign. We did break the top of this, and at this point, we will most likely go much higher. Uh, that to say, it's not a very good entry point. If you wanted to enter this market, you should have entered it down here when we were close to the 50 moving average. You can just see the 200 moving average under here because there's not a lot of data. Uh, 
Um, so this is not similar to uh, natural gas. You just don't buy when you are at this top because we can actually break all the way down to the 50 moving average and then you're basically stuck with this for uh, for quite a long time. Um, in order to enter this market, you basically need a pullback towards the 50 moving average. If that seems to hold, then, then uh, that is the possibility to enter. So if you look at the technical indicators, we are almost over bought, which is not a good sign for those that are thinking about entering in this market. That the stochastic is uh, is still quite bullish, and the MACD is also quite bullish. So if we were to break down from here, um, the 50 moving average will be uh, support, and we also have this area here, which also will act as support. We can see just how much support this has been um, for the last few months. Um, but in the long run, we'll most likely go first to this level, which is 0 0.3055, and then most likely to the old time highs. So I hope you liked this video. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the bell button and the like button, and um, good luck and happy trading. Thank you.